very good morning all blessed students welcome back to our online class for today everyone so today is monday and the first day of the week again everyone how was your holiday it was good right okay so um teacher believes that it was good everyone so today is monday and according to our schedule every monday we all learn from blueprint 3 and writing bright no speaking to 2 a okay so this is the first session for the first section we are going to learn from Blueprint 3, everyone. Now, let's see this. This is lesson 3, preparing an interview. This is the... Right, we are going to continue our lesson. Uh, you know that we have done with the part, part A, part B, and part C. That part A is about conversation, part B is about vocabulary, and part C is about vocabulary preview. We did the one exercise that um, yeah we used to complete that exercise by using the vocabulary in part B. Okay, one. Do you still do you do you still remember about this? <laughs> okay, so today we are going to continue our lesson. Um, then the main topic that we are going to continue for today is about grammar, everyone. So if you're not sure where the topic is, you can open your book to page forty-one. Then you will see. Part B, grammar, and we are going to learn about advice with with the shoot. Okay, we shoot um, imperatives and would suggest recommend plus plus verb in plus to run. Okay, all right, everyone. So let's see this advice with the shoot. Teacher believes that all students have learned it many times already. Okay, so we not learned about this anymore. And the main topic that teacher want to teach you for today are about imper imperatives and would suggest and recommend plus verb in plus student, right? Okay, everyone. So this is one of the top of the sentence. One top of the sentence, everyone. So how many types of sentence do you know in English, everyone? How many kinds of, of sentence do you know in English? So they are. Right, let teacher tell you everyone. So there are two kinds of sentence in English. So the first is about sentence by structure. Sentence by structure divided is divided into okay into four. The first is about simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, compound and complex sentence. Okay, everyone. So did you know about this? And one more, another type of the sentence is about Sentence by purpose. Sentence by purpose is divided into into four. Also, of one that the first is about declarative sentence, uh, declarative sentence, uh, interrogative sentence, exclamation sentence, imperative sentence. Right, imperative sentence is the sentence that we are going to learn for today. Of one. So, a uh, declarative sentence we can say positive sentence. Okay. Positive sentence and interrogative sentence. You know that uh, we used to make question. Um, it's always end with question mark. And exclamation sentence. It's about uh, we used to talk about emotion, right? It, it, it is right. It ends with it always ends with uh, exclamation mark. Also, an imperative sentence. We used to give comment and. To make requests, okay. You will see in the example, and you will uh, be clear, will understand clear with the example, everyone. Uh, you know that imperative sentence it ends with right with with uh, no no question marks with a uh, full stop and an exclamation mark also, okay, everyone. Let's see this imperative sentence. So uh, you know that imperative sentence. When we use it, it is not polite sentence to use. It used to give comments and make requests. And the subject in this sentence is not important, so it always start with um, with verb. Okay, one. Let Let's see this example number one. Don't forget to get plenty of sleep the night before the interview. So look at this. It always starts with. Uh, Forget, right? Look at forget over here is a verb, right? I want no subject. 
Uh, this is useful common number one, useful common. This one also useful common, it always starts with the verb. So uh, request the job before you go. So request the job, this is the verb. Before you go, so give the comment. You go where? Um, right, request, research, sorry, research the job before you go to get interview, right? You have to search about the job that you are going to uh, get interview first. Um, to, in order to get some ideas to answer the question, right? Okay, good everyone. Uh, these two sentences are used for useful comments. So how about the sentence that make requests? How can you use it? Give some coffees, please. Okay, give some coffees, please. So um, you used to write to make request for this sentence. Give me some pen, please. Right. So give me some pen. So it start with with the verb give. Right, everyone. Okay. So uh, now teacher think that you you got the this right. Okay. So if you're not sure about this. You can leave your comment below the video and homeroom teacher will try to understand, uh, no, to, to answer your questions. Right, I want. Or you can chat to me directly through our telegram. Right, then my name is Sarich. So you can search Sarich, then you will see. Or you can ask your homeroom teacher you want to chat directly to me. You got this? Okay, good. Okay, number two, I want. We are going to talk about would suggest, recommend, pleasure runs. So, um, with the verb, you know, suggest and uh, verb, no, suggest and uh, recommend, recommend. Um, it used to make a request or to give recommend, how about this one? To give recommend, um, plus children. So, these two verbs are followed by children. Okay, as you can see in the example, number one, I suggest reading about it online. So, suggest. Reading. So reading is a children, okay? So would, how about would? Would in the bracket here, right in the bracket, so mean that it is optional. So we, I can say it is not important. Use or not use, it's still okay, okay? You got with this one. Again, number one, I suggest reading about it online. So suggest is a verb and it's always followed by the children, okay? Number two, I would recommend arriving online. No, arriving early, sorry. Uh, arriving early, look at arriving, everyone. Arriving, um, it is a children, and uh, this is the verb recommend, to give the recommend. Okay, you got this? All right, everyone, so to finish this video, let's teach you some of what we have learned in this video. So today we learned about um, imperative sentence and would suggest recommend. This is the verb, right? This is the verb plus the children. These two verbs are followed by children, okay? And you know already about the meaning of the verb suggest, okay? And the verb recommend, recommend. You know, recommend to give an idea or to give good advice to someone and suggest to suggest something, right? Suggest to do something to, uh, right, can be, we can say um, to ask for something also with this and recommend, as you know already, we give some advice to, uh, yes, to, to someone to give some good advice, okay? Good advice. And about advice, we should we not uh, learned for this video because the teacher believe that most of the students have learned it many times already. So we not learn for this video. Okay, so everyone, for imperative, imperative sentence is used for give comments, give comments, and make requests. As you can see in the example, don't forget to get plenty of sleep. The, the night before the interview. So the sentence always start with verb. The subject is not important, right? But you know that if you use this sentence, so it means uh, the sentence is not polite, right? It's not polite. Uh, this is also used for comment, everyone. Uh, research the job before, before you go. Okay, give me something, please. So this is for request. Okay, one. 
Good. So how many kinds of sentence do you know one? There are two kinds of sentence in English, okay? So the first is about sentence by structure. Sentence by structure the is divided into four into four simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, compound and complex sentence, okay? And sentence by purpose is divided into into four also. So uh, declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, exclamation sentence, and imperative sentence. Uh, declarative sentence make statement or we can say positive sentence at one. And interrogative sentence make question. And in exclamation sentence make emotion. All right. And imperative sentence give comment and make request and it all will end with with a full stop or exclamation marks right so you got the this one okay so if you have uh, any questions you can leave your question below this video and also you can chat directly to me through our telegram if you're not sure about um, my telegram you can ask home teacher also thank you so much everyone for watching hope to see you guys on the second video, second section. Thank you so much.